So I did a thing and I just picked up the iPad Air 4th generation and I'm so excited to be unboxing it for you guys in today's video. If you are looking for more of a technology view on the iPad, this is not the channel. I'm just a lifestyle YouTuber and I got an iPad and I wanted to unbox it for a video. Side note, I haven't owned an iPad ever and the last time I touched an iPad was years ago. I'm not really in the game with iPads, but I'm really excited because with school, I felt that it would be really beneficial to have an iPad just because I'm taking some classes that would be better to draw out and everything like that. So there's a couple reasons why an iPad felt like a good option right now. So this is the iPad in the box. Haven't unboxed it yet. It's space gray. 64 gigabytes fourth generation with the Wi-Fi. One thing to note is that I didn't pick up the Apple Pencil yet. I know that I have that in the title, but that is gonna be coming later. And so I'll include that in today's video, but I'm just not showing it right now. But yeah, I'm really excited to unbox it and just show you guys what it is all about and first impressions and everything. Here she is. Oh, here's the iPad. Oh, it's so nice. I'm so excited. Okay, I don't know if it has battery, so. I'm just going to set that aside for right now and see what else came in the box. We've got this little envelope that Apple products all come with and so iPad Air and then just little things about it that a beginner might need like myself. So that'll be super nice to look over and then some Apple stickers and a little bit about the iPad which I never really read. It also comes with a box for the wall to charge it which is super super nice this is one of the new ones because they used to be like a smaller box but these ones are very fast charging and so that'll be nice to have as well as an ipad charger i think they have changed the charging cables because this isn't what the old ones look like i'll try to show you an up close but basically the sized things are like different than in the past so if you do have those that's something to notice i didn't know that yeah that's all that was in the box so now i'm gonna turn on the ipad and just set it up so this is the first thing you see swipe up to open and then i'm just gonna set it up so english united states set up manually i'm gonna get it on the internet already i think that the ipad is so nice and super sleek Okay, so there's the data and privacy screen, continue. Okay, so this is the touch ID that you can use your fingerprint in place of a passcode and also for purchases, which is cool. So I'm gonna set that up. Okay, so then it's asking for more. So then it's also asking to create a passcode just in case you want to type one in rather than use your finger. Okay, so now it's just logging in, terms and conditions, agree. So we ended up setting it up through Tanner's Apple ID. And so that's why it's like going through this. And welcome to iPad. So get started. And here it is. It's so clean. It's just like it kind of trips me up because it just looks like a bigger iPhone, but super, super nice. The first thing that I'm going to do is download Procreate because I'm really excited to check out that app and just see what it's all about. Plus, I should probably do a little bit of a test run on the iPad. This is a stylus that I got from Amazon. It's like a pencil thing. 
I mean, it's not the Apple Pencil that I'm going to be showing later in the video, but this is what I have for now, and so that's what I'm going to be using. So I'm going to go into Procreate and just check it out. I've heard really cool things, and I'm really interested in the digital art aspect of Procreate, so I'm excited to try it out. I'll just try this. On the golden domes of Bugaya I'll be following you for the ride I know that this day's heaven must end that was fun to just kind of mess around with the app and just kind of get a feel for it. That's all that I have for this section of the video. But now I will be reviewing the Apple Pencil second generation. Okay, so it's been about a week for me, which is why my hair looks different and everything. But I finally got the Apple Pencil today. So I said that I would do a little bit of a review and talk about it in this video. So that's what I'm going to be doing. A week later, finally picked up the Apple Pencil. And I'm really excited to review it and just talk about it. And honestly, it's pretty pricey for what it is. So I just want to make sure you're getting your money's worth. And so I have been using this knockoff Apple Pencil for the last week before getting this pencil. And so I'm just going to tell you about the pros and cons of each and just kind of if it's worth your money. So the first thing, I actually already unboxed the... Apple Pencil just because I was a little excited and I forgot to get it on camera. But this is the box that it comes in. It's very sleek as with all Apple products. It comes like this and then of course you have this little information box filled with a lot of stuff that nobody really pays attention to. And then the pencil itself is so... I just feel like it's so aesthetic. This is the second generation so I actually can't compare with the first generation because I've never had it, but this one I can talk about as well as just comparing it to a knockoff. Pros and cons of the knockoff version. First thing, if you can't tell, the tip is like a metal ballpoint end and it scratches your screen protector. And if you don't have a screen protector, it's going to scratch your screen. So. That was one thing that I noticed on the iPad. We ended up getting a case since the last time I filmed. And also we ended up getting a high quality screen protector. And so it was really disappointing to use this because it ended up scratching the screen protector. That was not cheap. So that was something that really was disappointing about this. Another thing to charge it, you actually have to plug it in to the wall here and that's how you charge this pencil. And then you just connect to Bluetooth by pressing this button. So those are a couple things that I've noticed about this pencil. One pro is that this was only $20. So that's a big difference between this pencil and the actual Apple Pencil. But if you're okay with that, and I mean the only con, the real con is that it scratched the screen. Another thing that I actually noticed was that it was a little bit laggy, so it didn't perform as well as I wished it would. I was drawing on Procreate and it would just kind of tap out for a second, which was pretty annoying, but honestly, if you're not trying to spend $135, it's not that annoying. That's just a little bit about this pencil. Now, a little bit about this pencil. I'll do a demo so that I can show you guys performance wise but this is the Apple Pencil second generation as I said it's got a different tip more like a rubber material and you can actually re replace this which I didn't know but you can screw it off and replace it as for setup I also forgot to film that part but super super easy take it out of the box attach it right next to the iPad. It's like got a magnetic force and so it attached right to the iPad and then it was started pairing and it did a little demo because something about this that is really, really cool is when you're drawing, you just give the pencil a double tap on the side and it switches right to an eraser or vice versa. So that was really cool about the pencil. Also, to charge the pencil, you literally just attach it to the side there and then it's gonna start charging the pencil. So that's really cool. It doesn't need like an extra charger or anything. I had no idea. Again, I haven't had an iPad ever. So that was something that was really cool to learn. Also, it's just really sleek and 
super light. Now I will show you a little bit of a demo on both pencils. Okay, so that was a little demo of the Apple Pencil second generation. For whatever reason, I couldn't get the knockoff to work or pair with my iPad, so I couldn't show a demo of that, but I will link that specific pencil in the description down below if you want to check it out. For an honest review and opinion, I would definitely pay the extra $110 to get the real Apple Pencil and to get one that is compatible with the iPad because there are features that the knockoff version doesn't have. One thing that I forgot to mention is that when you're using the Apple Pencil, you can write with your hand on the iPad as well as taking notes. And I know that when I take paper notes, I definitely do this. And so the knockoff, however, does not allow you to do that. So that is one thing to note if you are a note taker and you wanna be using the iPad for taking notes. I know that $135 for an Apple Pencil may seem like a lot. In this case, I really do feel like it's worth it. And I'm not just saying that because I'm definitely one to try to save money where I can. And so having had both and experiencing both, I would definitely pay the extra money to get the Apple Pencil. So yeah, that's actually all that I have for today's video. I hope that it was helpful in some way and that you were able to learn something or if you're interested in getting an ipad that this video was helpful comment down below any questions that you might have still or just any comments that you have for me maybe there's some apps out there that i need to get for school or that you highly recommend let me know in the comment section and thanks for watching today's video i will see you guys next time bye guys